Here at Forecast and the Ozarks. Well, Savannah, the sunshine a little deceiving today. We heard crisis cold weather shelters are opening up tonight for those who need it because just how cold it's going to get. Yeah, that's right. Temperatures are going to be dipping below freezing for most areas as we head into our overnight hours. First, though, let's talk about the sunset. Now, that just set around 510 today. In three weeks, it's going to be 531. And if you don't include that we fell back back in November, we haven't seen a 530 sunset since October 19th. So it's been quite a while here across the Ozark. So looking forward to that in three weeks. As we head into tonight, you see clear skies. That's going to allow our temperatures to really start to drop as we head into our overnight hours. Also, those winds making it feel even colder than what the actual temperatures are going to be. So as we head into tonight, clear skies. As we start off our Friday at 7 a.m., you can start to see that those clouds are going to be entering the Ozarks from the west. It looks like we could have potentially a few showers, but I think most of that is actually going to be evaporated before it gets to the surface just because we have such dry air here at the surface. Then those are going to be moving off. Temperatures tonight, 28 degrees here in Springfield. You can see up in Lake Ozark at 27 as well over in Rolla and then 31 down in Harrison. As we head into tomorrow, temperature is actually going to be warming up, but it's not going to be feeling like that all thanks to those winds from the southeast at 5 to 15 miles an hour. 50 degrees here in Springfield. We will have increasing clouds throughout the day. 55 over in Joplin. Then as we start to go into Friday night into Saturday. That's going to be our better chance to see some scattered showers as we head into early Saturday morning. So you can see very, very scattered in nature. Doesn't mean everybody's going to be seeing rain showers throughout the day, but there is a chance. So make sure you have that umbrella handy just in case you're one of those lucky few. And because of these scattered showers, really not going to be seeing that much in the way of accumulation. It's going to be that pesky, a very light drizzle across the region, you know, just enough to make you annoyed whenever you're driving. Turn on those windshield wipers. So most of the area only seeing about a tenth to a quarter of an inch through Saturday night. As we head into Saturday, temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler. 46 degrees here in Springfield. A little bit warmer as you head down towards Branson at 51 degrees. 55 down in Harrison. And then things are going to start to improve just a little bit on Sunday. So Sunday, definitely probably the best day of this weekend. 44 degrees in Springfield. Clearing skies throughout the day as well. 48 over in Joplin. And we have those, you know, near average to slightly above average temperatures. Well, this is why all those cold air staying just to the north of our region, which is good news, right? But all the warm air staying to the south of our region. So we're kind of like in this zonal flow and that's going to be continuing at least through the next seven days. Here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures tomorrow 50 degrees, 46 on Saturday, but those are going to continue to drop throughout the day thanks to those rain showers. 44 on Sunday and then as we head into Monday, it is going to be warmer at 57 degrees, but that warmth is not going to be sticking around. 51 by Tuesday, 53 by Wednesday, and I think the best chance for some good rain is going to be next Thursday. 47 degrees with those rain showers. Bailey? All right, thanks, Savannah.